clear sky and a sunny day here in Fort Worth, Texas. 25 cars are lined up for 12 laps around this 1.5 mile speedway. You're watching the Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 500 on YouTube. It's a beautiful day for racing. Let's take a look at your drivers to watch for. Christopher Bell starts on pole for the day's race. He's got a pretty fast Toyota. Watch for him to be at the front. Ty Dillon with a, with a surprise outside pole here today. Impressive of the young driver to put a petty GMS Chevy on the front row. Daniel Suarez was the winner of the Daytona 500 last week. He starts six today. Let's see what he can do. Eric Jones flipped last week in the Daytona 500. Went barrel rolling down the back stretch. Today, he hopes to not do that and have a strong run here at Texas. Kevin Harvick, the defending series champion, starts from the back of the field. So he's going to have to plow his way through a minefield of cars. If he wants to gain valuable points. Now let's go trackside. For the command. Drivers start your engines. Cars fired up. And roll off. For 12 laps. Around Texas. Now looks like you're starting lineup. On the pole is Christopher Bell and to his outside is Ty Dillon. Behind them it is Chase Briscoe and Art Marola, Stewart Off Racing teammates. Then we have Kyle Bush and Daniel Suarez, the Daytona 500 winner. Behind them it's Brad Kozlowski and Mark Truex Jr. And we have Denny Hamlin and Tyler Reddick. Behind them Chase Elliott and Joey Logano. And it's Kyle Larson and Ryan Blaney. We have Eric Jones and William Byron. It's Ross Chastain and Kevin Harvick behind them. And we have the rookie Harrison Burton and Austin Dillon. Behind them, Chris Busher and Alex Bowman. And we have Bubba Wallace and Cole Custer. And running at the field, it is Austin Sindrick. We are ready for green flag racing here at Texas. Face car pulls off. Green flag is out in the air. We come off turn two. Oh, around goes Martin Truex Jr. in the wall. Caution is out on lap one. The 19 of Martin Truex Jr. Spinning down the back stretch into the inside wall. What happened? Looks like Daniel Suarez shut up the racetrack and tagged the 19. That's what it looked like. Yeah, Suarez got loose. He was he was in the middle of three wide. And I guess his back end came around and he had to catch it. And in doing so, he inadvertently tagged the 19, sending him into the inside wall. Tough break for him. He'll be out of the race. We are ready to restart on lap three out of twelve. Here at Texas, Ty Dillon will be your new leader for this next restart. Green flag is back out. Christopher Bell with a great restart. Able to get around the 42 as that 42 is now falling like a rock. 
You get the terrible restart. Mr. Burbell now settles in the lead. You're gonna direct Amarillo to the outside trying to take the lead away. Bell holds strong. Bell continues to lead. We get to the midway point here at Texas. Caution on the racetrack. Daniel Suarez is blowing up. The 99 of Daniel Suarez. Smoke. Was billowing. Out of the back of that car. And he's just radioed to his crew. Engine blew. He started 6th. And he's been dropping in positions. Ever since. I believe he lost 2 positions under, under our first caution. With that contact for Martin Truex Jr. And then on the restart, he continued to lose positions. And I believe at the time that he blew his engine, he was running in 14th. So, his day was already off to a bad start. And it's going to end in the garage. That's a tough break for him. He's out of the race. We are ready to restart on lap 7. Out of 12, six laps to go here at Texas. Green flag is back out. Bell gets a good push from Kyle Busch. Here comes Kyle Busch to the outside trying to take the lead away from Bell. Can't quite get here. Here comes down to the inside trying to cross him over. He clears him going into turn one. Kyle Busch the new leader now. Bell will fall in behind it. Have to come down the back track. Oh, around goes the 12! Into the wall! Caution is out. The 12 of Ryan Blaney. Into the inside wall. In similar fashion to Martin Triggs Jr. back on lap 1 in this race. Let's take a look at what happened. Twelve just got loose all by himself. Really strange. The A was going around him. Back end comes around into the inside wall. Maybe the eight going around him probably took the air off the spoiler, sucked the back end around, and sent him into the inside wall. Just the air. These cars are really aerosensitive, so you, you don't even have to touch them. To send them spinning. You can just. Go around the outside or the inside. Of these cars. And they'll spin around. And. It looks like. Ryan Blaney. Fell victim. To what. We like to call. Arrow loose. Tough break for him. He'll be out of the race. We are ready to restart with two laps to go here at Texas. Kyle Busch will be the leader for this next restart. Green flag is back out. Christopher Bell gets a terrible restart. He spins the tires big time. Here comes Marola, the new leader. Here comes Kyle Busch back on the inside to take back the lead. White flag in the air. Amarola falling in behind Kyle Bush. Kevin Harvick goes around Eric Amarola. Can he, will he have anything for Kyle Bush? He won't be able to get there in time. Kyle Bush wins at Texas. Impressive win by the 18. Was able to defend his position. Ever since he took the lead. 
apart from getting passed by Eric Amarola on that final restart. But Kyle Busch, wheelman that he is, was able to take the position back and take the white flag and then the checkered flag. He'll burn it down here at Texas. Congratulations to Kyle Busch for winning here at Texas. Here are your final results. Kyle Busch able to get the win here at Texas. And he led five laps along with Christopher Bell. So both of them will clinch the most lap led bonus. Three Stuart Haas racing drivers managed to finish in the top five. And four of the drivers that finished in the top five were Fords. So strong showing for both SHR and Ford. Boy, Christopher Bell did not get a good restart. With two laps to go, spun the tires. Went from second to eighth. Kyle Larson and Chase Elliott with top ten finishes. Bubba Wallace started in the back. And finishes just shy of the top ten. Alex Bowman started at the back. Makes the way up to 13th. Ty Dillon qualified second. Finishes 15th. Daniel Suarez not having a good result here. He will definitely take a big blow on points. And here are your point standings after today. Kyle Busch assumes the points lead with his win here. Kevin Harvick moves up to second in the standings. Just three points behind Kyle Busch. Bubba Wallace falls down to third. Eric Amarola moves up to fourth. Hamlin and Logano also moving up to standings. Briscoe up to eighth from 16th. Daniel Suarez down to ninth from first. That blown engine really hit him hard in the points. Next week, we head to Kansas Speedway for the Bushy McBush Race 400 at 3 Eastern, 12 Pacific. I hope you enjoyed this race. This is Brandon Gomez in the booth, signing off.